Oh, you ready to shoot this video? Oh, you're rolling already. All right. Your fan is jaw dropping photography. High popping graphic art. Yo, welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. I'm Capital, and on today's episode, I'm going to show you how to track out a beat from your MPC 2000 XL into your digital audio workstation, and by case, FL Studio, or as some know it, Fruity Loops. So, let's get started. First things first, eye popper freaks all the honeys. That's like, let me stop. First things first, you want to make sure your signal chain from your MPC 2000 XL is going through your audio interface and into FL Studio. Your stereo out on your MPC will go, in, in my case, it goes into my mixer, then from my mixer into my audio interface here, into my input one channel. So when I open FL Studio, I make sure that my input is my channel one for my audio interface. Now, it may be different for your audio interface depending, depending on what, what you have, but mine is coming into my Yamaha Steinberg input one. So I click that and I have input now from my MPC to FL Studio. So the way you're gonna get your beat out of your MPC and into FL Studio is by using MIDI. Now, I have a MIDI to USB cable, which makes it easier. But if you have MIDI to MIDI cables, you're going to hook up your MIDI from your MPC to your audio interface. And what you're going to do is you're going to have your MIDI in from your MPC to your MIDI out on your audio interface and your MIDI out on your MPC to your MIDI in on your audio interface. Or in my case, you have your in and out to your USB cable to your computer. So the next thing you want to do is set up your MIDI on FL Studio. So I'll show you that now. To set up your MIDI on your DAW or FL Studio, you go to Options, MIDI Settings. Your Settings screen will pop up. Then you find your audio interface, or in my case, my USB to MIDI cable, which is called UM1, and the Output dropdown. You select that source, then you send master sync. So you make sure this is illuminated, send master sync, make sure your synchronization type is MIDI clock. Then your FL Studio MIDI is set up. So next you're gonna set up your MIDI on your MPC. To get to your MIDI screen, you hold shift and press nine. That'll take you to your MIDI screen. Once you're on your MIDI screen, you're gonna make sure that this input right here matches the number of the input on the back of your MPC that your MIDI cable is coming in. In my case, it's input one. Then you go down to mode, set this mode to MIDI clock so that it matches the MIDI clock on your FL Studio and set receive MMC on. That just means that you're gonna get controls from your Fruity Loops to your MPC. So your Fruity Loops is gonna control your MPC. Now that you have your MIDI set up on your MPC and your MIDI set up on FL Studio, you wanna make sure that the tempo in your FL Studio matches the tempo of the beat that you made in your MPC. So once you have that set, if you press play in FL Studio, it should play on your MPC and you should hear your beat. So in order to track out your beat, if you don't have 8 outs, and if you don't know what 8 outs is, don't worry about it. I don't have 8 outs. So we're going to track this out track by track. So the way to do that is you go to your, to your sequence. Once you have your sequence selected, you go over to the right and you press track mute. This will bring up all the tracks in that sequence and the, the screen will correspond each of the 16 tracks corresponds to one of the 16 pads here. 
so you can turn your tracks on and off using your pads here on the MPC. If you take a look at the screen, when I, t when I push the button, you can see the tracks going on and off. So to do this individually, you turn off every track except for the first one right here. And that means when your MPC starts playing, only the sound, the samples on track one will go as output into your Fruity Loops. So let me show you how to set up FL Studio now. So what you do is you bring up your mixer. First, you arm the recording on the main the main toolbar. After that, you right click this first track to turn off all the other ones and just record to this track. You bring your mixer back up, you right click on this little disc at the bottom of the screen. That will bring up that will arm your disc recording. So this will allow you to enable to record whatever's coming from your input into your MPC. So I'm going to name mine kick because that's the first sound on the first track of the MPC that I'm recording. I'm going to push save and now when I push play the MPC will start playing and Fruity Loops will start recording the kick in. So depending on how long your 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 bar is if you have four bars or two bars or one bar in your MPC that's how long you're going to record that pattern so press play and it'll do the rest of the work for you So you're going to repeat the same process for all of the rest of the tracks on your individual sequence on your MPC. If you have more sequences, you do the same for those. But what you're going to do is mute all of the tracks on your MPC besides the one that you're recording. Arm your main toolbar recording on your FL Studio. Arm your disc recording on the mixer channel. You can use the same mixer channel for all of the tracks as long as you use a different track on FL Studio. So on the first one we recorded to track one, for the next one you record to track two, then for the next one you record to track three and so on and so forth. Once you finish tracking out each one individually, you should have your entire beat in FL Studio. So now you got your beat from your MPC into FL Studio. You can sequence it any way you sequence any of your other samples that you put into FL Studio. And uh, that's it. So um, I hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and make sure you stay tuned for more Tutorial Tuesdays. We got a new series coming soon called Takeover Thursdays. And I got a little mini series along with another one of my colleagues called Caps Quickies. So just keep an eye out for that and uh, keep it hip hop and keep it. I'm going to mess up my own sh**. So keep it humble and keep it hip hop.